Hey guys, my name is Ade. I'm a junior at UConn and I'm currently studying abroad in Florence with the ISI program. I'm studying history of food and culture and I just wanted to take you on a day in my life in Florence to just show you what it's like. In Florence, the past six weeks has been an incredible experience, but it did take me a while to get used to being in a different continent for my family. That being said, I would make sure you value the importance of calling your parents at least once a week. I'd also keep a consistent routine like laying your bed. So when traveling somewhere new, even though there's many things to get used to, there will always be your routine. There is so much to do in Florence that it can feel overwhelming. So I found just taking walks around the area and finding new streets and avenues is one of the best ways to truly get a grasp of how beautiful this city really is. Also, going out of my comfort zone has really enhanced my trip here. I've been able to make amazing memories with amazing people that I plan to stay in touch with after this program. I found that being a black girl in Italy has been an experience all on its own. I've had some comments about my race that may seem kind to some locals here, but instead make me feel really isolated in this country. Calling me brown sugar or Beyonce sends a shiver down my spine. Though these experiences have helped me stand up for myself and allow me to fully express myself when I feel uncomfortable. Although with 90% of the people I met, this has been a very positive and welcoming experience. Overall, my experience in Florence has been something I'll cherish for the rest of my life. I've been able to explore so much of Italy and learn so much about myself. Italy especially has helped me understand the importance of community and the wealth you can gain in human connection. I am extremely grateful for being able to experience this in my lifetime. The food culture here in Italy is also something I've had to get used to. I found myself grocery shopping every four days and buying more raw ingredients over packaged. I felt a very positive impact on my health while studying. Hey guys. I'm here with my friend Kayla and I just wanted to show you guys a day in my life. Today we decided to go. We decided to get lunch at this place called Aqua Due. Yes. Which was really yummy. It was and then so we're good. gonna go shopping. So we're some fun. new rings. We're really excited. So yep. really excited to take you guys along. I hope you guys like it. We just came back from jewelry shopping, which is really fun. We got some matching rings, which is really cute. And now we're back at her apartment to do some studying for classes tomorrow. And I just wanted to show you guys the beautiful view that she has of the Duomo on her balcony. Hey guys, I just made it back to my apartment. I think I'm gonna spend the next few hours studying until I go out with my roommates for dinner later. Hey guys, I'm with my roommates, Matea, Lindsay, and Jolene, and we're out to eat some pizza.
Hey guys, thank you so much for following along this day in my life. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope you consider studying in Florence, especially with the ISI program. I know I had an exceptional experience here. Thank you so much for watching and good night. Hey guys, I actually just recently got back from my trip abroad and while editing this video, I thought that I should leave you guys with some like older sisterly advice to start, honestly. There isn't going to be a video that secures you in your decision to study abroad. There's always going to be one worry or one task that you feel that still needs to get done before you decide to take that leap of faith. And my advice to you is to just ignore that and just do it. And most people say that, but it is crucial in your understanding of going abroad because there will never be a time where you feel like you have enough time or energy or money to study abroad. That being said, of course, you should definitely finance a lot before coming here because it is going to be a lot of money, but you're never gonna feel like you have enough to study abroad, especially as a broke college student. You just need to take that leap and go because it turns you into an entirely different version of yourself. This new experience is actually changing you on a physical and mental level. And I didn't realize this until I went and did it myself. I have become more outspoken with my actions and more intentional with the connections I make with people because of this drastic change. And it can be a really tough experience with many factors, including the fact that I'm a black girl, but it's not to say that you're going to be bombarded with racism I'm not gonna lie to you though and say that it's a prejudice-free experience because racism exists everywhere. But I don't want to deter you from this journey because of how beneficial it has been for me. You never know how much this is going to change you until you actually do it. So you might as well just try. Good night guys.